be the world's favorite symbol of winter. These surprisingly complex and beautiful shapes are made of ice, nature's simplest hydrogen-bonded crystal. But how are these delicate structures formed? No two snowflakes form in the exact same way. But here's a possible set of steps. A snowflake starts as a dust grain floating in a cloud. Water vapor in the air sticks to the dust grain and the resulting droplet turns into ice. Crystal faces appear on the frozen droplet. Then, a prism forms with six faces and a top and a bottom. A cavity forms in each prism face because ice grows fastest near the edges. Faster growth on the corners causes six branches to sprout. The lines in each branch are due to ridges and grooves on the surface. These six branches form the corners of a hexagon, which forms into this shape because the water molecules chemically bond into a hexagonal network. When the temperature cools to 9 degrees Fahrenheit, new growth at the branch tips narrow. At 6 degrees, side branches begin to sprout. Suddenly, the crystal encounters a quick blast of warmer air, followed by cooler air, and even more side branches sprout. The crystal gradually warms, making the tips long and narrow. The crystal falls into even warmer air, which slows the growth and widens the tips. Finally, this unique and delicate structure falls to the earth, along with countless other snowflakes. The old saying that no two snowflakes are alike may be true for larger snowflakes, but not for smaller, simpler crystals that fall out of the sky at earlier stages, before they've had a chance to fully develop. Still, their ever-changing environment and the many ways that H2O can bond on the crystal's surface means that snowflakes can have a mind-boggling array of shapes. But they have one thing in common. They are all easy on the eye.